How is it going, boys and girls? Welcome back to Key West Waterman. My name is Aaron Young. Um, I'm actually going to dive right into this one, and I'll explain to you what's going on a little later. Um, this is my first time ever diving this spot, first drop on this spot ever. Uh, I got my good friend Gavin on the camera, and if you look right under me here, you can see a big shadow of what is a fish I've been searching for for years at this point. Uh, and I don't know what he's sitting right under me. And I'm, I'm watching a little small kingfish and there's a mutton off in the distance that the camera doesn't pick up. And I look down and I catch wind of what is under us. I make a sharp U-turn. Me and Gavin have a little collision and I start to pursue this fish. And he's kind of swimming away from me, but he's pretty casual. So I'm extended ready to fire because I don't want to do it once I get closer to him. He turns broadside and I put a shot right in his head. Uh, at the time when I pulled the trigger, I thought I was gonna stone this fish. Unfortunately, I didn't. Uh, this is not really a fish you wanna go to war with inside of a rock at this depth, but happy to have a shaft in him. I uh, was super stoked to get a chance at a fish like that. That's your 40 pounder right there, big boy. That's your 40 pounder. Woo! Oh, wow, wow, big wow. So this footage is actually from a few years ago. I had a cool group of guys called uh, Spearheads come down and die with me uh, and make some episodes. And they were nice enough to give me this footage. Um, and I kind of wanted to go back over it because at the time I was a little too camera shy to do an interview on it. But uh, here we are, a few years later. So this is 84 feet to the sand. Uh, this is one rock. There's a giant cave under here where it goes straight in about eight feet, cuts to the right about four feet, and then up about four feet, and then out the back side of the rock. Uh, so this fish is up inside there, you can see I pulled my shaft out, that was the initial shot. Uh, and a fish that size is extremely powerful. And you can see my shaft there, he actually broke the flopper off of my shaft. So as of right now, that fish has a hole in his head, but no shaft in him, but we know he's inside that rock. Fortunately, the had an amazing group of guys uh, on this trip with us, all solid divers. Like I said, it's 84 feet to the sand. Um, so this definitely isn't shallow, this isn't beginner territory. But luckily we had uh, a true dr dream team to help pull this fish out. Everyone was kind of diving, helping me locate this fish. Uh, you can see on this dive, I'm up under there. I'm trying to get a second shot at him. Uh, you can hear a gun click barely. And you'll see right here, there's some bait that'll start to kind of panic and shoot forward right there. The camera didn't pick it up, but I had shot that fish. He came out of the back side of that rock made a complete loop there and you can see there's yellow st uh, string across the top of the rock there and he went back into that hole right past and he actually ran into me but the camera didn't pick it up uh, and I didn't have a GoPro on. So that was the second shaft we had put in the fish. Um, like I said, a fish this size, just unbelievable power. Everybody working together. Um, and I kind of wanted to show this footage because it's a little raw a lot of times on episodes, you kind of get this false sense of, oh, we just shoot a fish and pull it right out. This entire process took about two and a half hours. It, it was the end of the day. Everybody was exhausted. This was the third shaft I had put into the fish. That second shaft, after that fish had run and made that loop, he pulled the second shaft out as well. This was the third shaft I put in a fish. It was actually with Gavin's gun. That was the second shaft I had pulled out and bent. Long story short, Gavin's shaft got shook out of the fish as well. You can see I'm back with the banana gun. This is the fourth shaft uh, we're putting in this fish. Every single shaft that we put in him, he would just break out and bend all to hell. And it was so stirred up and murky. I believe it was Justin Baker that was on the camera, which I couldn't believe he was diving this many times repeatedly with us, uh, filming every dive. I'm up on there. The, the cave was so deep, I was trying to get just a, a decent shot. That's something that would hold in this fish. So many of these shots had pulled out. It was just unbelievable. We couldn't believe it. He completely wrecked three shafts. So right there, I had put the fourth shaft finally in him. Um, that ended up holding. Terrible dive technique there. I got my head bent all the way back. That's a no-no, but we were so tired, completely exhausted. It was, I think it was five in the afternoon. We've been diving since seven in the morning. And this rock was literally in the middle of nowhere. First time I'd ever dove it, just out in the middle of sand. There wasn't, I didn't have anything even remotely close to it within, you know, three quarters of a mile. It was a beautiful ledge. I mean, this fish, no telling how long he had lived here. Uh, and this was the last dive I 
literally buried my knees in the sand, put my back up against the rock of the, the ceiling of the rock and just pulled with everything I had. Um, out of air there, I was not able to swim up with the fish, but I got him enough out of the rock. Slowly getting him up. Get your first glimpse at him here and oh my god, it was an absolute monster. And this was another Aaron that was on the boat that day. Come down and put a second shot in this fish. Absolutely unbelievable. Still to this day, the biggest fish I have ever speared and landed. Um, little different style episode, uh, real short, but I did want to share this footage. I thought it was pretty cool and I didn't talk about it the first time. We got an official weight here. We actually weighted on land again and it was actually an even 66.9. Unreal, a fish I will never forget. But um, thanks for tuning in, guys. Uh, subscribe if you're not already. This one was a little shorter, but we're going to keep them coming out quickly, and I will see you next time. Thanks so much.